Hi, my name is Al Tweddle. I'm the chairman of Friends of Preachy Island. I'm here to welcome Matt to our uh, island and discuss some of the signage we have uh, requested from the city and it's just been installed. I'm Al Uloff. I'm the city councillor here for Orleans. I'm very, very pleased uh, to be here with Al and the team here at Petrie Island, our gem here in the Orleans community. One of the most recent additions to the island uh, is this sign on your way in, uh, reminding people that this is a conservation area and that dogs are prohibited everywhere on the island. A lot of people don't realize that the, even dogs on leashes can do damage if they're let loose and roam in the grass. We have bird nests, we have baby turtles and, and other things. So uh, we also like to explain to them the reasons why the signs are here. We have a wide variety of parks here in New Orleans, many of them where dogs are allowed on and off leash. So it's very important before you go to a park here in New Orleans, to check the City of Ottawa website to ensure the area that you're going to allows dogs. Here on Peachtree Island, it is not allowed. Peachtree Island features so many different incredible walking trails. It's so important to remember that when you're here, that you pick up everything that you bring with you. We want to make sure uh, that we are protecting our flora and our fauna by not leaving anything behind. There are some areas that are acceptable for fishing. And Al, if you want to let us know where that is. Yeah, if you look on the map here, this is where you come across the bridge to the causeway. All this area, which is basswood trail, comes around to the boat launch. You can fish there, you can fish down these points, and you can fish at the end of the beach. There. there are so many different great trails in this network. The longest one being Bill Holland Trail, which is about three kilometers not long. And then after that, we have Basswood Trail, Muskrat Trail, Sunrise Trail, and, bi and the bike path, which are all about between one and half a kilometer. It's wonderful to bring your family out here, but again, remember to treat the trails with respect. So uh, welcome to Petrie Island. We have three parking areas. Parking fees are in effect from June 1st all the way to September 1st, between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Parking is free of charge at all other times during the day. Uh, we have several beaches. We have the East and River Beach areas are near uh, the main parking lot and are serviced by Beach Washroom and the Change Room Building, which is just up here. Uh, the beaches operate from mid-June to mid-August with lifeguards on duty between noon and 7 p.m. So they do test the water quality every single day. When a green flag is up, it indicates that the water quality is good and a lifeguard is on duty when a red flag indicates that swimming is not recommended. We also have boating, a dock near the main parking lot area offers launching for canoes and kayaks only and provides access to the quiet bays and the back channels. A private marina is at the entrance of Petri, uh, the entrance of Petri Island with a boat ramp uh, for launching, mooring and boat rentals and fishing supplies. So please make sure if you are making use of the marina that you're not coming into these bays. Uh, this is uh, reserved uh, for quiet canoeing, kayaking and swimming only. We're here at the the information signs, and again, once again, we want to reiterate that to protect the island, uh, there are various rules that are applied in most parks. Pytree Island is slightly different. It's 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., which is earlier than most parks. Dogs are permitted, not permitted. Please do not feed or interfere with the wildlife. Trails are designated for either walking or cycling. Staying on the trail will lessen your impact on the overall area. Smoking and consumption of alcohol is not permitted in city of Ottawa parks or conservation area. And fishing is in the designated areas. Camping and campfires are not permitted except by special permit. So while a lot of people love coming down to Petrie Island with their family because it's a great spot uh, for picnicking. So if somebody wanted, you know, to, to, to come down for a picnic uh, or have a bit of a barbecue, uh, what kind of rules do we have around that? Uh, the same rules that the city has for other parks apply here. The biggest problem we have is if you want a barbe charcoal barbecue, they're not allowed because we don't have a proper place to just get rid of the coals. But you can have a gas barbecue and the city requires us to have a permit so they can know who is using it in case there's any problems later on. We have space for, oh, we have something like 40 tables and it's tents so there are lots of places for uh, larger picnics as well as the family picnics. So people have to bring their own barbecue with them or are there some available here? No, for they that? have to bring their own barbecue. Okay, perfect. So Sherry, here we are on the Turtle Trail. What are the do's and don'ts of walking along these pathways? One of the things we ask everybody is to stay on the trail when they're, when they're walking here at Petrie. 
uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One of the main ones is to protect you. So on, uh, there's quite a bit of poison ivy at Petrie. So if you stay on the trail, you're going to avoid touching any of those plants like poison ivy or stinging nettles. You're also not going, you'd be less at risk of, of interfering with uh, some of the pollinators or getting stung. Uh, so, and also it doesn't happen much at Petrie, but there is, um, uh, ticks are also a possibility. So if you're staying on the trail, you're going to avoid stinging insects. You're going to avoid thorns that we have black locusts here. So it is a way of protecting you. Uh, the other thing about staying on the trails is that you're also less likely to disturb the animals or to damage any of the, the sensitive plant systems. Uh, we do have 30 species of plants that are fairly rare. And so we're really wanting, you know, by preventing people from trampling on them, obviously we're going to try and protect them as much as possible. The other reason not to, to stay on the trail, I mean, is to um, avoid moving invasive species around. So invasive species quite often come on feet, on your clothing. And so if you stay on the trails, you're less likely to, to spread invasive species uh, around on Petrie Island. So it's a way of protecting you and it's a way of protecting the ecology of the island. Wonderful. And so what do we have up here? Um, this looks like a great spot to kind of look out at turtles. So what's, uh, what's this space for? This is the turtle blind. Um, it's positioned and made so that visitors can come and observe the turtles without disturbing them um, because they're sensitive to noises and everything. Um, and then also important, talking about trails and wildlife, is to remember not to handle amphibians and reptiles because the chemicals that are in um, sunscreens, bug sprays, uh, and lotions on our hands can potentially affect them and get absorbed into their skin. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Petrie Island is owned by the City of Ottawa, but the Friends of Petrie Island uh, run most of the nature programming that here, and we also look after the uh, in ecological integrity of the island. So we're a, a volunteer-driven organization uh, that started in 1997, so it's been around a while. We depend entirely on volunteers, and we have been uh, we do a number of stewardship activities, such as maintaining the nature trails. We're currently undertaking a tree inventory and developing a wildlife garden, a wildflower garden. Uh, we also do a number of educational uh, displays on the various flora and fauna of Petrie Island. And it's just an opportunity for people to, um, to, to learn about Petrie Island and maybe if they're interested, they can become involved uh, and join us. You know, in closing, uh, you know, this is a pretty important place for our community. People love to come. Uh, you know, do you have any message for people that are, that are thinking about coming down to enjoy the space? I think people visit Petrie Island for different reasons. Some people come for the beach, some people come for uh, a little bit of peace and quiet, some people come to help their kids connect with nature. So one of the, the big takeaways I think is that when people come here they should be respectful of the other visitors. Uh, they should be respectful of the environment. Obviously we don't want people picking flowers and uh, taking pieces of, of Petrie Island with them and uh, they need to um, and just to enjoy it because what we want is we want for Petrie Island to be around for the next generation and the generation after like like you bringing your your child out here yeah we love coming down here you know whether it's to sit on the beach or in the winter time you know to enjoy the trails or to walk on Turtle Pond you know when it's when it's frozen solid enough this is just such a wonderful place and I think that this is a good opportunity to remind people that when they are down in this space to be respectful to take out what you bring with you you know, uh, ensuring that, uh, you know, trash is properly put in a receptacle or even better brought home with you is just so important and helps to protect the environment down here. Those little rules will make a difference to the visitor experience and it makes a difference to the ecology of, of Petrie. So people can come here and enjoy the fantastic sunsets and just uh, enjoy nature. Well, thanks, Sherry. Thank you, Matt. Wonderful.